Welcome everybody to the classic Budkai 5k tournament. This is a tournament where there will be no repair bots, no repair tentacles, any damage that's taken will be permanent in the fights, in the rounds. It's going to be amazing, intense, and I'm deciding to go ahead and not have any qualifying rounds for this tournament just because there's so much talented and interesting designs here that I don't want to miss a single thing. So I'm probably going to go ahead and make episodes longer just so we can squeeze it all in. So without further ado, here's the lineup. Uh, as you can see right there, everything was rolled with three six-sided die. Uh, and yeah, so let's go ahead and start this tournament off because it's going to be a big one. Alright, here we go. And for our first fight, we have the Shadow Fleet versus Sneak. Uh, looks like Shadow Fleet has a bunch of, uh, let's see, kind of like laser things going on here. Yep, yep. And the Sneak uh, low orbiting uh, satellite type of relay. Uh, I believe he wanted to be up in space. But it seems to me like he is, his uh, propulsionary systems have not given him the launch that he so required. That's a pretty tough break right there, because these lasers right over here, lasers are pretty much a, uh, a orbiting satellite's worst friend. Uh, <laughs> or not friend at all. So let's have another round of this. I'm going to let this play out. If anything changes, I'll, uh, I'll cut back. Absolutely, the continuous wave lasers from these ships here, from the Shadow Fleet. Uh, and they are not submarines, because they are floating. Uh, the continuous light wave lasers are going ahead and just totally wrecking uh, the uh, low orbiting uh, sneaker over here. So, uh, looks like they have the win for this round. Let's see, best two out of three. Uh, the sneak really needs to get a, a good start. Okay, can the low orbiting glass cannon go ahead and, uh, and cannon these guys up? I don't think he always gonna get some shots off, maybe. Looks like he had an instant, a few shots there, but nah, it looks like his engine went straight ahead. And, uh, and bit the big one, and you know, when a laser's engine bites the big one, ain't no laser, ain't nothing left. So, tough matchup, tough matchup, but the win goes to Shadow Fleet. congratulations, you move on to the next round. Uh, what we have up here is the uh, Helm Pack next, with uh, Duck Brigade. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, so here we have the Duck Brigade, oh, launching off tons of missiles, here we go, now we got some firepower going here, along with some torpedoes. Going ahead, sending tons of dock at these guys here. Now remember, there are no repair bots, there are no repair tentacles in this competition. So any kind of damage is permanent. It looks like this guy right here is uh, from the Hound Pack, is going ahead and eating a ton of shots, getting put off balance. It's always difficult to have a sturdy, tanky design with fans. But it looks like he has taken, uh, given off a lot of shots as well. There's a total firefight we have here. Uh, oh, he's doing fine though, he's hanging in there. Let's see here, and he's got a laser ship up in the sky. Let me get my binoculars up here. Yeah, there's a ship up in the sky doing just fine. And these guys are getting fragged from the atmosphere. Uh, hmm. Taking some serious damage here. Oh, man. Oh, and what is this thing right here? What is that? Is that from the, uh, from the Hound 2? I think it is from the Hound pack. Looks like they had a little stinker <laughs> that went ahead and just kind of ruined someone's day. He's taking shots like a pro, though. Look at that. I can't believe those hover fans are still lasting. Uh, I mean, he's, he's going ahead canceling out those missiles with his anti-missile lasers. Uh, and this guy over here isn't even touched. He's just like, just laying into them with, uh, with a good amount of laser shooting. Looks like they are sinking. All oh, the ducks are sinking. Who do we have? So how's this guy doing here? Still lots of lasers, though, coming up. Coming up from the water, but I think, I do believe the Hound Pack has this one. Um, look at this guy. This guy's awesome. He just has his little spinners. What a great design. Take a look at this guy. This is great. Little uh, missile, little missile carriers on the side, laser in the front, pivoting, swiveling, shields all around. It's intense, man. I don't think these guys are bouncing back from this because there's no more repair. They have a bunch of anti-missile stuff still active. But as for offense, I don't think there's no more offense left. And they have sunk. Oh, <laughs> that hound over there sunk. He just like went straight to the bottom. But uh, there is one ship left. And it is from the Helm Pack. So that was pretty sweet. Although there's a ship left here too. Okay, the battle's still going on. Still heading on out. Moving the camera on down. Let's see what we can find here. Let's see what kind of damage has been done here. There's just parts all over the ocean floor right now. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. Alright. And the missiles come a raining down from the heavens. And the uh, duckies, they kind of sunk. They kind of like shrunk to the bottom. I mean, they, they put up a good fight, good fight. Alright, let's see if they can do better. Oh, they're still shooting down here, but they have sunk those. So they, are, they are dead. They have sunk to the ocean floor. As there are no submarines allowed in this tournament. And this guy's still doing just fine. Alright. So let's continue on uh, with a round two of this. 
Can the duckies get their vengeance back? We shall see. I know uh, that they had to been worked on very hard because there's about 86 iterations to their version, and uh, so <laughs> you gotta you gotta hand it to him. I'm sure he's worked very hard on these designs. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. All right, so he has given it to them. Uh, oh, kind of. I tell you what, these shields right here—they are—they are very tough for the duckies to penetrate. Uh, but they—they given it them. They're all. So let's let's take a look. All right, so look at these look at these wolves right here. They are yellow now. They are coming on in. Awesome, awesome deal here. I mean, they are just wrecking anything that's floating around in the water here, just bashing and smashing all the uh, sensitive parts, uh, which is unfortunate because, like, you know, damage is permanent now. They ain't no repairing happening around in these pots. So let's take a look at here as I move the camera out. That looks like a pretty, pretty bleak sight. It looks looks like absolute nightmare. And I look at this hover ship up here. The Hound hover ship, one of them, has taken the brunt of the damage, but he's flying fine now. It looks like he's up in the sky, way up high, where he wants to be. Or maybe his uh, computer just got smashed up and now he's in the sky. But <laughs> at least he's not in the water. Uh, and he's not sinking, because that's where he does not belong. Oh, and it looks like they have wa went below the surface. Oh, they may be resurfacing. Okay, still not out yet. There's still a nose on the water top. Will it last? <laughs> oh my gosh. Will the ducky last? Let's see. Oh, is he going down? He's kind of sinking. He's kind of sinking. He's kind of getting like 100 bullets to the face. Okay. So the hounds have won this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the hounds have won. And they move on to the next round. And now we have the Revenge of the Carcer versus the Apocalypse Goats. Right here, Apocalypse Goat. Now, what? Oh, oh. These guys look very, very similar. What the hey? Did I spawn in two of the same guy? No, th these guys are uh, straight up, straight up uh, battleships. Okay. So, will the Carcer have his revenge? We shall see. Oh, he's nice and green. Oh, yeah. Oh, a pirate flag. Yeah. Something's blowing up. Oh, the flyer up there is flowing, uh, blowing up, flowing up. Yep. And, alright, so the underneath, this guy looks pretty sturdy. <gasps> he lost a gun. He lost a gun. Or a barrel, actually. And look at these huge bullets flying on this away. Oh, look at this guy. So he's shooting at the flyer and forward. Still looks pretty darn intact. This apocalypse boat's doing pretty darn good. Blowing that guy up out of the sky. Totally, totally smoked. Let me see if I can catch all this in the frame here. Okay, so... I'm going to have to take a look at that flyer later. Or heck, let's do it now. Let's take a look at the flyer while this sea battle is raging here. Um, <laughs> actually, this is not a good time to look at the flyer because he ain't there no more. Uh-huh. Wow, these guys are taking a beating. Is there even a scratch on this goat yet? It's Apocalypse Goat. Is he, is, he, is he scratched up or what? So it looks like the busted barrels on the Revenge have, uh, have highly decreased his accuracy. Oh, and he's running out of ammo. His ammo supplies are kind of wasted. Oh man. Okay. Well, this is this is pretty intense. It's like it's like right up in the face at this point. Front cannon has been taken out. Oh, but the missile launcher is focusing uh, his attention upon the uh, revenge of the carcer. Hmm. So we shall see. It actually looks like Apocalypse's goat, or Apocalypse, <laughs> Apocalypse goat, uh, his barrel is stuck right here on, on his front deck. That kind of sucks to uh, If only this little piece of deck here didn't exist, he would have been able to swing this around and shoot at the, uh, at the Revenge. Now the Reve Revenge is shooting up in, at him just fine. Uh, busting him up around here, and there's no repair bots. So we'll see how this unfolds, but I believe, let's see, he's not going to be in a firing arc. Uh, for a good long while, he's going to be taking hits here. Point blank, point blank broadside by the Revenge. Oh, and it looks like he's kind of stopping. Yeah, it looks like his broadside angle is not set to be uh, a broadside. It looks like it's set to be a head-on collision. Does he have spikes in the front here? Not really. Okay, well. Oh, we have a sinker possibly. All right, I'm going to keep an eye on this fight. And the barrels have been blown up. The Revenge has been sticking his barrel where it does belong. And it belongs right in the sensitive ammo uh, box parts of, uh, <laughs> of Apocalypse Goat. Look at them bullets fly point blank range. Ah, uh, I tell you, that's that's a, that's a tough break for the uh, for the goat because yeah, his his barrel got stuck and now he's just getting this broadside just shot at point blank going through the shields. Oh man, such close range! Oh, explosions everywhere! All the humanity. Um, I'm probably going to let this play out a lot off-camera, but I do believe that, uh, that Revenge of the Carcer has, uh, has gone ahead 
and uh, and won this one. Oh yeah, he's starting to sink now. Looks like all his uh, air pumps have gone ahead and and, uh, and gotten blown up. I do believe he is sinking now since he is made of metal. And down goes the Apocalypse Goat for this round. It's a shame he never got his barrel around. Okay, so best two out of three of, uh, of the Titans. Okay, another Clash of the Titans. Let's see if we can go ahead and take a look at the uh, Carcer's uh, Revenge's uh, flyer here. Oh, it looks like to be just a decoy flyer. He doesn't seem to have any kind of weapons upon himself. Uh, just able to fly out there and attract the missiles. Very cool. Oh, and it looks like he has an anti-missile laser upon that ship over there. But it was not enough. He still got smashed with lasers. But that was cool, though. That was cool. So now we have a 5,000 block ship versus a 3,000 block ship. That's pretty much what it's done. That 2,000 blocks over there just went ahead and just bought the, uh, the revenge just enough time to go ahead and take some shots here. And he's taking his shots. He's shooting at full strength just about. And he's hitting up the side of the Apocalypse Goat here. Oh, once again, this time, really, really, really. I tell you what, that 2,000 block gamble there, uh, decoy, was totally worth it. It was just enough. It was just what the doctor ordered for the revenge. All right, so it looks like the Carcer has uh, gone ahead and done it. Looks like he's finally moving on. He's got his revenge. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, we'll have to see. We'll see. But it seems fairly certain to me. How many blocks are left alive on this fellow here? 3,000. All right, so it's <laughs> it's an even match now, more or less. Let's take a look at the uh, the carcer over here. Let's see, let's see here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got, oh, 3,300. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got explosions happening now underneath, all around. He is sinking now. Looks like air pumps have been taken out. And obviously, at this angle, where there's no shielding and just free reign of shooting at close range, um, what the heck is he shooting at? Oh, he's shooting at more stuff down below here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What's he aiming for? Seems like an engine part, maybe a computer brain, something like that. But yeah, alright, so this fight is over. Pretty much. I'll let this play out. If anything changes... No, nothing's changing. He's sinking. Alright. Good job, Revenge. You move on to the next round. And here we have the Big Bang going off against the... What in the heck is that? What is that? Wait, let me look down here. Uh, oh my goodness. Orbital Sailors. This is some crazy stuff. This is some really crazy... What are these guys? They're sailing and they're flying. Unbelievable. That's such a cool design. There's a bunch of them going on here. One of them didn't make it, so it seems. Looks like his sails got taken out early. Um, flying around here. Let's, let's take a look here. Oh, there's so much going on. There's a lot of flying type units here. What the heck is this guy up to around here? Looks like a missile launching platform. What are these things spinning here? This is so cool. This is, this is very fun. Dogfight going on out there. It's crazy. Orbital Sailor uh, Relay. Very cool. It looks like they have hit the water. Uh, they seem to be have been uh, kind of like butterflies of a sort. Oh, well, they're still flying up. Let's see how these things are even operating. This is such a fascinating looking object. <laughs> I mean, like, what happens if he's going against the wind? Or I think he is going against the wind, or with the wind, or... Okay, well... <laughs> it's like a little kite. Oh, I love it. L little kite fighters. That's very fun. But it looks to me... Looks to me like the Big Bang has gone ahead and is, uh... Is... Oh, look, there's like little cannons on here too? What? For real? And there's like a little dude manning it and stuff? Wow, that's a very strange fight. It's very strange, but it looks like... Oh, now his lasers finally found the juiciest target. One of the juiciest bosses. It looks like they keep popping up out of the water. What the heck? How are they popping up out of the water? Let me see there. I don't think there's any repair bots on these guys, are there? No, I don't think so. Don't think so. No, he's just kind of getting some wind here and there and flipping himself up and around. Let's take a quick look at this. Very fascinating, strange object. <laughs> uh, just a bunch of sails, and I guess a gun was attached. But all right. So let me let this play out a little bit more. I don't believe there's any offense left for the orbital sailors. I think they're just kind of sailing around now, doing their own little uh, little thing. It looks like he finally got busted up there on the back. Uh, what do we have flying around over here? Uh, the main the main cannon here of of the uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. That last orbital sailor is getting taken out. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So it looks to me like the Big Bang team has won this round. Let's see. Best two out of three. This is very interesting. Okay, so let's see what these orbital sailor creatures can do. Looks like a massive, massive anti-missile uh, 
ship. Oh, 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 we, okay, okay, we got some, alright, on the Big Bang, we have tons of these little flyers here. With, are those lasers or are those anti-missile lasers? I think they're anti-missiles. Oh, right away, silenced though, they, they found their target and they silenced, silenced them with a lot of missiles. Oh, here we go, let's take a look at these guys before they go down. Such a fantastic little display of, uh, of like, uh, it gets graceful butterflies, uh, I, I could say. Uh, very cool, oh my gosh, look at the, oh, what a collision! Oh man, looks like two ships have been taken out. Actually, it looks like one ship has been taken out there. Uh, he is going down from the Big Bang, but we have a huge explosion here, and there's no repairs in this competition. People, this is it. This is it. Looks like he's having a very bad day. Missiles flying everywhere. Oh, let me get the camera out of here. I almost just died myself. <laughs> uh, wow! Oh my gosh, look at all those missiles. Not hitting them, though. That's the thing with flyers. They, they get very good, just kind of nimbly fl floating around kind of stuff. Oh, let's see. So, it's just raining missiles. It's raining missiles, yeah. There we go. It's raining. Raining missiles. Okay. But it looks to me like this. Uh, there may be a similar result here. Because now that all the uh, pretty, pretty butterfly things have been landing in the water. How the heck is this guy still moving? Oh, he's moving because he sails right. So he doesn't need an engine to move. He's just kind of being blown around by the wind. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so crazy. He's just flying around, even though he's like, there's nobody home. There's nobody home. He's dead, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to call it now. I'm going to say the uh, the Big Bang uh, team has won this one. Had a few kamikaze pilots here and there. This guy gave up his life, kind of, <laughs> to uh, for, for the greater good. But yeah, they have went ahead and won it. All right, so on to the next fight. Now, aren't you guys glad? I didn't have a qualifying round and eliminated a whole bunch of awesome people. I mean, like, look at this stuff. Look at this. This is the, uh, what's this, cookie time or something? Uh, Spartan class, uh, Spartan heavy frigate class, something like that. This is the guy who had to buy in this, uh, in the, in the first set of rounds. Uh, he's not, but he's making it to the next round. It's gonna be awesome. I can't <laughs> imagine how crazy this is gonna be to try to get through all these shields. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, this competition's great. I'm really loving the new rules so far. I hope you guys are, too. And, uh, yeah, alright, so let's move on to the next set of fights before, uh, we close out here. Alright, and now we have the Battle Quarks versus the Disco Box version 4.0, yeah, yeah, oh, look at the purple, not purple, blue lasers. Oh my goodness gracious, I gotta look at this, this is awesome. Uh, the per the amount of blue, purple, whatever, crazy lasers, missiles launching, all the colors, <laughs> he did that. Look at all the colors, he added the colors, oh, I love it. I love colors, very colorful. Um, wow, look at that. Who has said lasers are boring? That's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, and we have a fellow up here from the, uh, disco box. It seems like he just popped out of it, like a jack-in-a-box. I don't know what he's actually... Oh, he's got some lasers, too. Very cool. And, oh, and very deadly. So it seems... Completely cleaned the shields off these, uh, people here. Completely cleaned them off. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at all those lasers. There's like a one million lasers in there. Oh my smokes. Wow, right in half for real? What about this guy? Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, whoosh indeed. Let's take a look before before the combat ends. How many, how is he doing this? How many lasers does he have over here? Oh, I see. So he has anti-missile lasers. And he's got lasers and anti-missile lasers. And it's just really, really cool. Ah, I gotta see what's in here. I gotta see what's in here. All right, yeah, obviously. Lots of lasers. Okay. All right, so let's have another round of this. This is, this is crazy stuff going on here. So do the Battle Quarks have a chance against this disco box madness of rainbow colors? Do they have a chance? This guy starts out on a broad side. The other guy starts out as a, on a front side, starboard side, whatever they call it. Port side, I think port's behind. Anyway, it don't matter none. Oh man, what a tough matchup. What a tough, tough matchup. Um, disco box is changing priority on the fly. And, uh, and very quickly, slowly taking out one and then yet the other. As, as, uh, as threat priority increases and decreases, uh, and then eventually evaporates. Wow. And of course, see, they, they got their uh, little missile launchers on the behind there. Uh, disco box crew, yep. Yeah, I mean, like, he's more than just a box, people. He's more than just a box. He is, he is a crew. He's a team. He's a uh, DJ and, and son or something. I don't know. But uh, okay, so it looks like he's went ahead and uh, cleaned up the competition. The most important feature being all those colors right there, that is, that is, that is, oh, there's no words for that kind of stuff. Wow, that's terrible. Okay, so, 
Thanks for watching, guys. This is the part one of the Budkai 5K Classic. And we'll be back uh, every other day for this kind of stuff. And then I, I will still do the campaign uh, like every third episode or so during this time. So, uh, yeah, so look, uh, look forward to that. But until uh, next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Okay, bye-bye.